There's a technical reason for that. That's beautiful. All right. Okay. All right, guys. We are here at Four Bridges Lending. Did I get that right? You did. Got that right in Lithicum, Maryland. Correct. And I'm here with the lone fairy herself. That's me. And um, I want to also just thank you because you built a crazy good st- studio for this. Thank you. And it's, I hope you everyone can see it on the, on the video because it's super impressive. And this is the inaugural podcast video right here. The beginning. This is the beginning. We have a, This is the no name podcast. We don't even have a name for it yet. It's just That's it. the podcast right now. It's, <laughs> exactly. There's no name. We'll work on that later. We will. We'll have to find something. We'll we'll bridge something. We'll bridge the gap there. Oh, that's kind of hot. I like that. If anyone's watching this and you have some name ideas, comment below. There, there you go. <laughs> Tim and Lacey. Um, that's it's really hard though. We, we're working on it. I'm I'm not gonna give my bad ideas right now, but yeah, okay. we'll find something. We'll figure it out. All right, let's but, roll. Yeah, let's do this. So I, uh, Tim has been helping me with my Google profile, and so I had some questions because I have a team and I'm trying to as a manager, get them to, or encourage them to seek their own reviews for each of our independent branches. And it's not as easy to reteach to someone as it is to learn by yourself. So what I would love for you to do today is to answer a few questions. I have them written down. Sorry for the unprofessionalism. Everyone's just gonna have to deal with it. Not everybody can see this, so it's fine. We'll put a graphic up. Um, but I do have some questions. And so I wanted you to ask, answer them so I can just play this and they can just see it. And it'll be just that, that easy. Perfectly. Plus it validates it a little bit. You've taught me right. the reason why I right. need traffic. But just because you taught me why I need traffic, it doesn't mean that when I tell someone else, they're going to believe me. So I'm coming to the I pro. Am, I am screaming this to everybody. This is, uh, it's it's so obvious. And it actually took me some time to figure it out how obvious it is about um, the importance of, of uh, the, the Google business profile. Um, and then once you figure that out, you're like, oh, it's just about behavior. It's about what what um, all these companies, so like Google, Facebook, um, uh, you know, Instagram, Facebook, but all of them, they 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 model off of uh, the behavior of people, right? So if people are searching uh, a certain way, so they're searching on on mobile and they're going through maps and they're they're picking out businesses and profiles from there, that's what they're gonna they're gonna optimize for for um, businesses to use. So that's what um, that we found is that is, is is actually a forgotten part. Actually, the reason I'm up in Lithicum is because I was just setting it up for a painting company. Um, and it, it took me about three weeks to finally get up here and do it. Um, but part of that process was was just trying to explain how this is this is number one thing is to set this up and get this going because it is the base of, of all your lead generation, especially if you're a local company. Um, uh, so yeah, so yeah, definitely let's, let's fire away. Well, I also want to say that you also reminded me to pay attention to how often I use Google because you think, oh, no one's going to Google me. And then when you realize I just Googled how to find office depot, right? You, it's like, oh, Eureka. And, and that's something important that's to teach other people too. Exactly. So it's, it, that, that's the easiest way to say it. So, um, when for any, any service or product, um, that you're looking for, you, Typically, without even thinking about it, you say near me. Um, this is kind of a learned behavior uh, for, through Google because it's the most effective way to find. Um, you know, so if you search like uh, if you need socks right now, right? Like you just don't have a pair, and you, you need to go, you need to go find them. So one of the things you you would do is if you wrote socks into Google, you might get Amazon, which is going to take sometimes two hours, but it's going to take you know probably the next day, which is crazy. But um, or uh, you know, it's going to find a bunch of online the best socks that you can order and get them in a week. But if you type in near me, it's going to give the location, the the places to get it within a few miles, usually around three or, or five miles, um, or usually about like, you know, it's 0.2. You know, like, oh, you can just get socks right there. And often you'll actually find out uh, a place that you didn't even know carried socks, right? So, so you, well, socks is an interesting one, but um, that's a really important thing too to know is that uh, when you optimize the, the Google profile effectively, uh, the things that you sell the most, the things, the services that you do the most, it's going to uh, show through in that profile. So one of the good examples is, um, uh, so if, if you, you have like a roofing company, right? And your majority of your projects are roofing. And so you, what you've done is you, you've you built your whole website, your whole, everything out on your presence online about roofing. But now you have the idea that you want to go into the siding industry or business. So 
ultimately um, you might pick up some siding jobs, you know, from friends or whatever it may be, and they write you reviews. So when you have those reviews about siding projects, uh, people are going to say, well, he did a great job at, at my siding, you know, doing the new siding at my house. Uh, before Google even reads the website that you put it on there, it's going to start reading those reviews and start ranking you for those types of projects. So awesome. it actually reads because reviews live on the Google, Google profile. Um, that's one of the most important reasons why you should get one and get one. If you're starting a business or you have a business, it's right now. It's yesterday. <laughs> or if you need business or if you're building business, that's for my team. I'm saying it louder so they can hear me. Right. Say it that way. Yeah. So about your team, what, um, some questions, uh, I, I said there's, you said there was a little bit of a, um, of a gap that you need to bridge um, uh, between the importance of the Google profile. Cause I know there's a ton of like, some people are like, uh, which is, I agree with, but it's, uh, um, you know, social media is number one. You gotta get on. So uh, yes. Um, but what is, what is floor number one? What is the basement level? Um, it's the Google business profile. And I think that's missed a lot. So it definitely is. And I didn't catch on to it until recently, unfortunately. So who's to say how much business I've missed or that we've missed as a team because I didn't have it up and ready and going. So I do have these little questions uh, yeah. that we have prepared for you. Um, so as far as building your, your Google profile itself to give you more visibility, I've heard all kinds of things as far as um, the more reviews that you leave and add your ag algorithm, if you leave photos, um, of course, how many reviews you have, what are some things that, first of all, are those things even true? And second of all, what are some things that I can tell them or teach them? Hey, if you add a photo once a week or once a month or once a year, even, um, how does that boost your profile and does it even boost your profile? Right. So yeah, I was explaining this to uh, a, a potential customer uh, the other day. And I was going a bunch of different ways with it. And then I finally found at the end of our conversation, he was like, that, that you should have just said that. And I was like, yes, it is essentially what it is, is you're, you're feeding Google information, right? So instead of thing in, in number one thing to, to consider and understand is that what's good for the customer is good for Google. So don't, you don't want to try to trick it. You don't want to try to, to try, uh, you know, weird tactics that you might find on a YouTube uh, video and they they know about it you know so um and and uh so what you want to do is you want to provide it information about your business um with the customer in mind so uh examples of that would be taking photos of 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 um your services your business um you know just just getting the the outside of your business the inside and then i always like to say happy customer faces with you and anything you can provide and then you want to upload that onto the google profile and you have to know that customers will see the photos. Um, so you, d you definitely want to make sure they're not just, you're not just spamming it with everything you got. Um, but then what you can do is you can actually do a post. So, um, a lot of people know about the, the effects of blogs, right? So, so a lot of people are, are using blogs on their website, but what they don't know, or a lot of people don't know is that you can put that blog into the Google profile as well. So that's just another way to feed it more information. And then, uh, if you write, you know, good authentic information about your business, uh, not only is Google going to read that and understand more about your services, like, and um, but ultimately it's going to uh, actually customers will see it too. Uh, it's a better, it's, an, it's another place for customers to see it. So I always say uh, consider what your strategy is, like what you provide, and what service you you know want to want to really promote the most, and then or services. And then, you know, use those kind of keywords. Uh, so, so for, I'll use the roofing example again. So you would want to, um, if you, you know, roofing keywords, you might want to say like, uh, um, roofer near me or not roofer near me, but you would, you would say like, um, um, roofing projects or, uh, uh, uh shingles. shingles, right? So, what, so what are, what are customers, um, you know, typing in and, and, and then ultimately you want to put that in the writing, um, and then upload that into the Google profile, uh, so that they know what you're doing because they don't know anything. Think about that. They had no, they know nothing about your business. It asks you what category you're in. Um, so, you know, you could say that I'm, I'm in loans, but you know, I just learned the other day that you do aviation loans. Right. So right? financial services is what it's technically under, but it doesn't right. break it down after that. So you should almost teach it, treat it like a social media profile. Almost, exactly. That's exactly what I say. Um, that it's, it's a, it's a social media pro it's like the easiest social media profile because, um, it's not, the glamour and the and the the branding side of it where it's we have to always figure out the new trend or whatever it's it's do what's best for the customer number one right so be authentic 
and then uh, provide information that's going to uh, actually aid Google in understanding your business because they built all these things so that they just learn more. And, you know, it's not a guy behind Google looking at it, but it's an algorithm that, that is, you're feeding it to, to, to tell you more about your, uh, your business. So that's, you know, that's the, that's the essence behind SEO. But I think what's missed about it a lot is that um, you don't need to be an SEO expert. You don't need to be, um, you don't have to go on a bunch of directories and, and figure out how to get your links on there and all that kind of stuff, which is great to do. But you, you can use like a social media. You can upload photos. Uh, you can upload posts. You can do offers. Um, all, it's, once you start really learning about this, you're like, wait a second, this is this is a whole a whole thing, and it's got you know connections to your phone number, website, and everything like that. So, and all the analytics with it too. That is so awesome, and those are things that you hear, but you don't know if they're true, and you don't know how. It's one thing to know to do it, how to do it, and how to do it effectively is really it's a waste of time if you're not doing it in a way that's effective and for your business. So. It's, it's almost, you know, like putting up a bad post. You don't want to put up a post about just anything about your day just to say, I put up a post today. You want to put it up with me, you know, with meaning and with a mission. So that's awesome. So I definitely will include that in my, I'm going to just give them the video. What am I talking about? Perfect. Um, and then- That's why we got all the cameras. This, well, there are a lot. You guys can't even see. But here's something that's really good. So let's say I am a shy person and I want to ask someone for a review. What's a, what's a, good segue or a way to ask for a review that's not, hey, I just did this for you. I need you to get on my Google and leave me a review and it better be five stars and thanks a lot. So you, you know, you don't want to sound, there's a, of course you'd sound more authentic and sweet and kind when you'd say it, but how do you do it where it's not something that's, um, that's a requirement um, as much as just say, hey, can you do me a favor right. to, to leave a so review? So as, as much as there actually, there are ways you can compensate in a sense, you can, you can give like a gift card or whatever, but you don't need to do that, right? That's the thing. So um, some people are like, well, they immediately when they're thinking about, they, they learn about the effectiveness of reviews because number one is reviews are, you have the Google profile set up. So you have all your information is set. It takes about a few hours just to get everything. It actually walks you through it. So it's going to ask you all these questions um, and then all your service areas, everything. And once you get that set, um, it's like, okay, my foundation set. Now what's the most important thing to start feeding it right um yeah posts are great but that's from you right so um what i always say is that uh, google's customers are the people who are leaving reviews so they know um that these people have gmails and drive you know google drives and they've been to these they actually know if they've been to your location too if you're a shop so if, if you know if you're trying to get fake reviews they actually will scary. know it is it is but to my point to that to answer your question is that um so it's actually much easier than people think. And when they actually jumped to the beginning, they're, when they're like, I need to get reviews, they're going to go right to, I need to give, give a gift card. Well, really, all you have to do is really, if you're in the service industry, especially, is you just need to ask them, um, hey, you know, this would really benefit my, it, you know, did I do good work for you, right? Yeah, you know, the project went great. You know, the roof looks great. Um, okay, you know, it, it would really help me um, personally, right? Uh, to get more business, actually, if you leave a, a review and you don't have to ask them to leave a five star review or anything, it's just you're asking them right there. Um, and then uh, a really effective way to do it is uh, you just be authentic about it. But a really effective way to do it is actually um, provide a, uh, a easy way to do it. So um, one of the easiest ways to do it is you have a card with a QR code on it. And that's actually something that we do for our clients is we put uh, we link it to the, the submission page and we put it on a on a QR code. We go to I was very excited to see that when you showed that. Yeah. That was pretty, that was <laughs> pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So it, it, I mean, I think it costs us like thirty six dollars to get a hundred um, or something like that. And, uh, you know, nice high gloss. And, and, and so what you do is you you just you may say that sentence. Usually, again, I'll use the roofer again. Um, on a walk around after the project and you just do it face to face and you ask them and then they say, oh yeah, I'd love to give you a review. And then you just make it really easy for them. So a lot of people are expecting that, you know, oh, I got to go inside. I got to, you know, go on my computer and find the bit. And, and there's, there's a drop off there as well. Um, so what we found is providing a QR code that's linked right to the submission page. And then if they would like to do it right there, then and there, you just give them a second and or maybe you, you, that's when you say, well, thank you so much. And, and, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll email you in next year or whatever to check in on you. Um, but then you would, uh, you know, they would give that review right there. 
Um, that's that's the number one most effective way to do it. And it's it's not as scary as, as people think it is because people actually want to do it. It's just a matter of when you, a lot of people like to use the follow-up way. So it's like the next um, day or so, they'll send an email, which is great. Definitely do it. Uh, but that in-person is, is going to get you actually better reviews. Um, but it, the, it's just about that drop off because people are busy, right? That's true. But I, I love leaving reviews. I do leave right. a lot of, and I don't ever feel bad or weird, but it does feel odd or different or weird to me to ask someone else to leave it for me. I love to leave a review, but to ask someone to leave me a review, it is a little uncomfortable and I'm pretty outgoing and I, but there are some people on my team that are not as outgoing. So that is a good tip to just have the card and, and, and have a sentence, kind of a good, right? Yeah, so yeah, have a, have a spiel, you know, have, have something prepared, um, that, you know, is, is going to be authentic. So, uh, like I always say is like, you know, if, you know, I want to help homeowners like you and the best way for me to do that is to get reviews. Do you, would you mind filling out a review? And they always will say yes. Right. Um, usually, <laughs> and then, and then if, again, making it really easy for them. Sure. Um, so another thing we do is we also have software that you can, um, send it out in a text message. Um, that's effective too, because you, you can even do it right there on the spot as well. Um, so you will actually have the number loaded up. So you, you ask them if, if that'd be a, um, you know, if they'd be able to provide a review and then you just hit send and it goes right to their SMS text message. Um, and then the, the good thing about that is now that when they do walk inside, it's just right there on their messages. That's awesome. It's not yeah. even on their, on their browser. It's on the, it's on the, the messages. So when they're going to text somebody with, Oh, I, I didn't need leave a review for that. And don't be afraid to follow up because people like, it's just like sales. So it's like, you know, you, you're, you're hammering someone a bunch of times, you know, keep, keep calling, keep calling. And then they're like, I just thank you for calling again, because let's go ahead and do this. I'm just, I've been really busy. Um, so it's the same thing. And knowing the importance of doing it is it, it's, it's actually everything. Um, once you get that Google profile set and then you get there. So one of the examples actually is that I don't know if anyone knows about this, but there's local guides. Uh, do you know about local guides? Like the paper local guides? No, so the, so Google created local guides. It's really it's an interesting thing. So what they did was they gave this badge of some, like it's actually it has reward points and all sorts of things in, within Google profile. So you could become a local guide Ooh, I want and, you, to do and that. there's levels to it, right? So I actually just became a local guide. So um, just start getting started. I'm so catch up really quickly. I what happens? <laughs> oh yeah, no, you got to get on it. <laughs> so what happens is um, if you visit a website for a long time or, they, or Google decides that you probably became a customer of this, even if you've made a transaction or, or, or something like that, or you visit a location and stayed there for a certain amount of time, you just walk by it. Um, if your local guide, they'll actually just ask you for a review. So when you're on your Google, you'll, you'll kind of see on the side, like, Hey, did you, um, you know, how was your experience with, uh, four I've bridges? seen that. I've seen oh, that. So yeah. Yeah. So, um, I guess it happens, it's, but the local guide side of it is people, um, they get points and rewards and, and badges for it. So what they'll do is like on their weekends or the week, whatever, they'll go out to a restaurant and they, they will eat it, you know, the food with the point to review it. Right. So they're actually like, uh, what do you call it? Like a, a reviewer. Like What's a, 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 a critic, a critic. A critic yeah. A food critic. Got um, it. so they're actually acting as a critic. Um, and there, there are rewards and, 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 and then you can see, you know, the whole part. So my point in saying this is that Google is actually incentivizing reviews and it's not just because they want more people to learn, you know, uh, how great these companies are. It's because, like I said before, it's actually feeding the algorithms more information. So I, uh, an example I had was, um, uh, I, I like to play darts, pretty decent darts player. Um, so when I go to a new city or, or even in Annapolis, um, I'll, uh, I'll type in darts bar near me and typically, uh, websites and, um, uh, you know, uh, the Google, uh, Google, like websites won't have, uh, darts on them, but they might have a dart board and they might just put one up, something like that. And somebody will review and say, well, this was a great place for me to play darts. And then, you know, that's the review. And then, so when you search darts bar, it actually is going to come up and it's going to quote on the on the Google business profile on the on the Google places maps right. on the maps. It's going to say, here's the quote from the guy, you know, um, that said uh, this was a great place to play darts. Oh, awesome. right. So it's now telling you that this is this is the answer. Right. Because of this review. So that's why there's a ton of incentives that Google does and and businesses that are, that are, that are savvy are going to put that in place because. Um, like I said before, these are their customers. They know that these are real people. They, they trust their opinion. So when you leave a review, 
Um, and it, like he said, keywords in it. Um, and it, it says like keyword like Dart, they're going to rank it uh, based off of that. So it's really important um, to get authentic reviews to get, but really get volume. Specific. Specific and 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 but if you if you're working with a lot of people right so you have you have customers um, you know you're a restaurant or whatever that's a great opportunity just to have a system where you have um, a card or um, uh, some incentives too restaurants are really easy to incentivize yeah, so like sure uh, I went to a restaurant um, actually for a networking event and they gave out free app- appetizers um, you know for a review which is fine. And uh, one good way is to do it, like a drink. It's just casual. And um, and then you, you know, if you provide any review, it doesn't need to be good, it doesn't need to be bad. It's just you provide a review because the, the key is most people are going to write positive reviews. But if you don't ask for them, you don't do it, you're going to get more negative if not. Right. That does make sense too. And right. we do see some restaurants and you're thinking, this is an awesome restaurant. And someone left a negative review based on something so small. Some people just have a bad day and like to leave it poor review right whatever. right that's so I, I always say is is um always look for volume like same with social media it's like you're always trying to do volume and be out there more but um so if you have a thousand reviews which you know companies have more than that and um and and you know there's gonna be some negative ones in there too but uh not only is it there's gonna be a higher percentage positive but that's just feeding more more content and sure. then when somebody looks, so the example would be Amazon. So when you go look on Amazon, you might look at a product and you say, well, it only has 50 reviews, right? Um, same with a business. So you're looking at a roofer and you're you're saying, I need to choose a roofer. Well, he only has 26 reviews. People look at that. And it doesn't even matter the stars because people understand also that 4.2 stars is still good. Right. And what does that even mean? Right, so it's like, is, is he a bad roofer? No, but if they see twenty six reviews, it just means he, ha- he hasn't been around long, even though he could be around for twenty years. Right. So getting reviews in volume. So you want to actually, if you get past one hundred and fifty, Google actually considers you a stable, uh, authentic company, Love and they that. actually pump you out uh, better on the rankings uh, just by getting past one hundred and fifty reviews. That's interesting. So when it comes to reviews, you know, we're a lender. I have a lot of past clients that I had never asked for a review because I'm a, you know, I'm a little behind the game, we're going to call it. So even though I've had hundreds and hundreds of clients prior to now of me boosting my Google profile and for my team, of course, um, is there a way to, is it okay to go back and ask people that I've worked with before? How would you go about that? Is there a, is there, you know, I, I don't want to say, Hey, you know, I'm just trying to build up my Google profile right. can you leave a review is it that simple because if someone it, it, asks me that, that i would simple. do it it is that simple because especially most people if they work with you they understand that you wouldn't be asking them if it was a terrible experience you'd probably be like sure. i hope they don't find my, my google profile um so clearly they're, they're they're it was a good experience um and you're always providing a great experience too so thank you um so it i i think the weird thing about i guess it's like something to do with social the way people think about their ego, whatever it may be, where they think people are going to like write them up on reviews. And, and if they ask for them, they're going to be like, yeah, I'm just going to get them this time. Um, no, people love doing it because uh, it's for most times in services, you provided a service that actually benefit them. Like I want to keep using the roof, for example. So um, you have a leaky roof and the roofer came out the next day and fixed that leaky roof. You want to give them a good review sure. because, because not only is it, actually paying them back in a sense um but it's also going to help another family another homeowner get a good roofer so um to answer your question uh you, you don't want to stigmatize it really is you just want to you just want to think of it you don't need them i love i mean i don't love it but people go to incentives first they're like how do i incentivize it don't you don't need to you could i mean uh, there's a ton of easy ways to do it give them a water bottle uh you know you know uh, whatever it may be something funny you know something that per- you, you're you're the you're idea. the queen of that you got bags and all that that's great i have an idea you don't need to give them a gift card you don't, you, you could <laughs> can i can i run my idea what's your idea because i i actually started doing this or i started the idea of doing this but i never really followed through but um you know i'm a big jimmy buffett fan i guess we'll go and i always say love and luck but i but every single one of my videos, if you or if you ever received an email from me, I always answer. I always end up with blessings and hugs. Yeah. And so I thought, what is something that someone would want to get? And then I thought, people love lottery scratch offs. Oh. They love them, and you can get this for a dollar, and they could win up to fifteen hundred dollars or whatever. Right. But, you you know, but you don't know. You don't know. You just like to play, right? You just people just like to scratch it. Right. So I thought, 
um, to get like a little card, like you were saying, and maybe put the QR code on there, which I'm going to tell you, I did have these done, but I did it poorly because I didn't send it directly to my Google review. And now you're making me think right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this because I never followed you, through with you it. Would, you would put the card. Jake, Jay, do we have the card? So just do, to do say, my wallet here? to even say we'll to someone the, while we'll he's doing out. that is I'm always wishing love and luck and blessings and hugs to you. I'd love for you to do the same with a Google review. Right. So and, you I, have the, it, and then you have the the card. And my thought is, because I read somewhere or saw somewhere, just give me all the money out of that, please. There's a wallet. There's a I'll wallet on, on the stage. There's a wallet on the stage. But to but to, I would I personally would never scratch a scratch off before doing the review because I'd be afraid to, like I wouldn't win if I didn't do the right. review first. So in my head or my thought process was if I do that, they're going to leave the review just to scratch the card. Right, exactly. If, that you've thought through it. So, I so thought it through. I and just that's really and what would you say? It's like a dollar to five like dollars for like a scratch a off, but you could win fifteen thousand, whatever it's, it may be. Yeah. You can win a lot more. Um, I think that's a great idea. And so th that's the point: is you're not you're not begging for you know, you're making it fun, um, but you're also making you're taking away, I guess, a little bit of the transactional part of it, where where you're you're, I guess, the begging, you know, kind of maybe like, right. oh, I, I really need this review. It's more like you have a system. People love systems, right? So they love. Um, yeah, that's why people hire, you know, anyone they, they're like, well, he figured it out before me. She, she has something, she figured out how to make a Google profile. I'm going to hire them to do it because they have the system done. Um, so when you, when you put like exactly, you'd have a scratch off and then you would paper clip it on there with nice, nice, nice yeah. little pink paper clips. I know you love that. That's okay. I like and that. then you would put a card. This is, this is my makeshift one. I have nice gloss ones, but, um, you would put the QR code on there. So it's, it just makes it so easy for someone to pull a phone out and scan it and just leave a review. And then, but like I said before, is the most important thing to know is what the ROI on that is ridiculous. So it's, um, I mean, it's, I think it's like, uh, you know, every dollar spent, um, you get $32 back on SEO. Reviews are essentially an wow, SEO that's tool. pretty powerful. Yeah. Actually. It, that's sitting that for a second. That's a big deal. SEO is, is, it, it's always hard to explain um, because it's it's SEO. Like, what, what does that mean? Like, I always, whenever I explain SEO, I'm always like, "Well, do you know what SEO means?" First, I think I do. And some people are like, oh, "See, exactly." So some people are like, I "Of course, you know what SEO means." And, and you're like, "Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry." But other people are like, "I have no clue." So it's so SEO, search engine optimization, right? So the the you basically just say is it's getting ranked higher on Google and Bing and uh, Yahoo, whatever it may be, any search engine. Um, but the thing about SEO is that it's a it's a whole web of activities. So people get really overwhelmed by it and they hire somebody to do it. Um, but most SEO companies will tell you the importance of reviews. But um, this is something that you have to do on basically on your own, right? Um, now, we, we provide softwares. We, we, we have, you know, cards and, and what have you to, to make reviews easier. But ultimately, it's something that you you have to do on your own. Um, and if you, if you have a large amount of transactions, um, you could automate that pretty easily and just, just get the volume. So if you're doing, you know, a business that's doing, uh, 30 transactions a, an hour or whatever, that would be amazing. You know, Let's right. Well, that. you know, if you have like a, a, a restaurant or ice cream shop in a, in a city, but, um, you could automate it so that, um, it's just really easily review, but ultimately, um, you are going to get, you are going to get some people who, you know, you don't want to give anyone a bad experience, but you know, if they do, they have the right to leave a review. Um, but for service businesses, it's, it's, you want to do it face to face. You want to ask them, uh, you know, just tell them it's going to benefit your business. That's all you got to tell them. So this review is going to benefit my business. Um, it's going to help me help more, uh, people like you. That might be even too much. Okay. You know, it's, 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 it's that simple. Um, and then, but one of my, I'll hit it home again is that you have to have a system. So this is one of the easiest ways to do it. I love that. And this card. is linked right to the, uh, the submission form. So there's no jumping around. It's just, you're, you go ahead and do it. So, so that takes you right to the submission form. This is my, this is my makeshift card. We have, we have a nice high gloss one coming, but, um, this is, this is the, so that would take one. you to, so if let's say I gave that to you and you went ahead and filled out the form and someone said, Oh, do you have the carpet or do you have the roofer? And you say, Oh, you know what? I don't, but I have that card. If they handed that card off, it would be a submission form. I wouldn't show like the Google profile or is there a way to get to the Google profile from there? Right. So, um, if you, if you, it's a double whammy almost. Exactly. So, uh, this is part of the, so we, we also manage Google profiles because of the effect, how important they are. So, 
Um, and there's a lot of buttons in there that people don't understand, but there's there's one that you drop down, you can scroll to the bottom, and it says generate a link uh, to the submission form. And I think it's cool. like generate a review link. Um, so then it just brings up a link and you copy it and then you go to a QR code generator and then you add it to there. And then, so it's not bringing you to the Google profile. You could do that. You know, you can definitely send them there and then they have two more clicks, but some people drop off after three clicks. No, I don't. Yeah. I, right? I like so it. So this, it this goes, it goes up and I, the reason I put the five stars, there are a lot of reasons, but it, uh, that's exactly what it looks like. So it, it's five empty stars in a submission form. So making it super easy for the customer to just leave a review and then but the, the key is is so if you have salespeople, if you have um you know um uh, mortgage officers um you have to first educate them and and it, it's it's it, and, then, and then they have to commit to it right so it's once they understand uh the effects of it yeah. and the roi and and how it's going to help them too especially um you see a lot of companies will actually incentivize it by saying uh if you leave the name of um uh the, the salesperson in there Right. Uh, they'll get twenty five dollars, and they'll tell that to the customer, which is totally Let's not fine. Tell my team that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We won't. We won't say that. But <laughs> but um. So, uh, and and I'm not not definitely not no, against though. And one of the things is that it's so important that if you if you do want to have a system like that, it's totally okay because sure. because whatever makes it happen is going to give you that edge. It, reviews are that that important. And and let's forget about all the the technical side of it. Reviews are also a way for customers to pan through and see what you're all about. Absolutely. Right? So, Absolutely. And that's why that's why all these companies, like at the beginning I was saying, is that all these companies, they optimize for the customer, right? So if people are leaving good reviews, uh, they're going to, Google's going to rank you. But Google wants to do good by their customers. The reason for SEO is because it's not because it's something that you need to hack or win, right? The reason why Google does that and they have all these these different mechanisms is because they want to give the best companies in front of their customers, which are their, the people who have profiles on Google. That's as simple as that. That's so, awesome. So that's why reviews are the number one thing because everything else is just something you're doing yourself, right? You're telling Google blogs. You're telling all that. They're like, okay, great. We know more about you, but we trust our customers. So get more reviews. That's awesome. And I'm going to leave more reviews because hopefully- Oh yeah, definitely leave more reviews. You want you want to do that because uh, you want to help people. I know everyone does and everyone should be leaving more reviews and, and they'll be afraid that you can leave a negative review. I mean, it's it's part oh, of the game. I it's part of the game. But, but but you, do, you don't want to, not out of spite. I'm just, you don't want to, but, but ultimately leave reviews. That's leave awesome. reviews for everybody. All right. Well, cool. I appreciate all of this. We we pretty much hit all did the I, questions. Did I? Do you think I convinced uh, your team? Well, I hope so. I know you convinced me. So it's it's just get recently, the pro. So so it's get the profile set. Well, first of all, get the profile get right because it actually it's a few hoops hoops you got to jump through, right? Because again, Google doesn't want to put fake companies. It does up legitimize there. it for sure. They don't want to put fake companies up there. So get the Google profile optimized or get it first. Get it optimized so everything's correct. Then. Well, once you have it, get reviews. And then you can, and then while you're doing that, start putting photos on there, start putting blog posts, um, question and answer, all that kind of stuff. That's I, awesome. The, the crazy part is people don't even know what this is. I, I, part of Google's fault, fault too, because they called it Google My Business. Then they called it Google uh, 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 Business Profile, which it's technically called now, but some people call it Google Places. Um, and then Google Maps. Like there's a ton of different ways to call it. So people just don't understand what you're talking about. Well, because it Which sounds takes like you're talking about seven different things instead of just one. Right. It's literally just that it's a profile on Google uh, that links to your website, your phone, your phone, all that stuff. But it holds all your information on there. Number one thing to do is optimize that. I will plug myself here. We uh, do start and manage um, Google business profiles. See, I almost called it something different. We... Um, we start them for companies, we manage them, and then we also have review uh, systems, softwares, and techniques that we implement um, for companies, uh, especially in the home service industry, to get more reviews and to effectively use their Google profile. Um, and also, we make some really cool video testimonials. That uh, I have seen. I know we're not going to get into that today, but very important. We'll talk about that right, next time. That's next Seriously. time. This has been great.